Have you ever been in a relationship where you gave more than you received? You were building something together, something you thought was meaningful, but in the end, you were building it alone. He was never truly invested. What happened? How could you invest so much time and energy into a man who never deserved it in the first place? And how can you protect yourself from these time wasters in the future? All high status women make certain that the man they're dating is worthy of their time and energy. They test them by following a simple process that triggers a man's primal instincts and then evaluating his reaction. And in this video, I'm gonna reveal step by step how high value women test a man to determine if he's a quality match. I'm Jason Silver, the dating coach for ambitious women. On this channel, Attract Great Guys, we do social experiments and reveal what men secretly want but would never admit. If you'd like to get notified whenever we release a new video, just hit the subscribe button and make sure that tiny little bell next to the subscribe button is checked. So how do you determine if a man is high value? Let me show you how a high status woman tests men using the TV show Billions as an example. We'll be looking at Wendy, a high powered executive coach to billionaires. Wendy's powerful male clients bow to no one. These men are aggressive and dominant. And although Wendy is kind and honest and loyal, her clients respect her and treat her like a queen at all times. So the first step in testing a man is discovering his masculine motive. As a high status woman, you must make sure that you know a man's true intentions. Is he taking you out because he likes you and is looking for a deeper relationship? Or does he think that you're cute and he just wants to sleep with you? Wendy is an expert at getting to the bottom of what men are really thinking. You've known about this for weeks. You're bringing it up now because you want to know something. What is it you want to know? They go from zero to 100, and I can watch exactly how they use what I give them. She does this by asking questions that reveal his masculine motives. These are a man's primal survival desires, like being wealthy or powerful, physically fit or finding his queen. And Wendy knows exactly how to get a man to reveal these desires. She digs deep with questions that hit at his core. Ask yourself one question first. Are you rich enough to never get another job? These core hitting questions tap into a man's primal desire of being a king. And you're ignoring the quiet one inside telling you where the alpha is. What's that voice telling you? So how can you discover a man's masculine motives on a real date? Try asking him what his vision is. Where would he love to be in five years, 10 years, 20 years from now? If the question's too big for him to answer, you can just say, well, if you know you couldn't fail, if you're guaranteed to succeed, what would your dream be? Doing this gives you a sneak peek into your future relationship with him. A high value man will actually be excited to talk about his future because he's got a vision and he doesn't want to waste time with someone who's not a good fit. Once you discover a man's masculine motives, you can then test him to see how he reacts to your vision and your values by setting your standards. Wendy is a natural at this and isn't afraid to set her standards and speak her mind. In this brief conversation with her husband, she sets a standard that she won't be yelled at and she won't be manipulated. I just, I don't know where all this is coming from, and you know I don't like to be manipulated. I'm not manipulating. Not that that's what you were doing, but that's what I felt like. Wendy is kind and loving, but she's strong and knows where to draw the line. Anytime someone pushes her too far, she's not afraid to call it out. Is this uh, what we're teaching the kids? Oh, are we teaching them that daddy's job is always more important than mommy's? Don't be afraid to offend a man by setting your standards. Trust me, you're not being a or rude, you're being strong and open about your needs. Whatever you call yourself after I... My files you. are confidential. You're not seeing them. You can call the attorney general if you want and tell her I say hi if you do. We had dinner last month. Otherwise, f off. A high value man will respect you for doing this. He'll see a woman who's not gonna let him get away with being disrespectful. This will keep him on his toes and entice him to prove himself worthy of your affection. By making sure he knows where you stand, you'll clarify exactly how he needs to treat you, and you'll know that the both of you are on the same page. Wendy is a master of setting her standards, but she's also hyper aware of how she's making the other person feel. 
She knows that there's such a thing as going too far, and she's able to assert herself without completely crossing that line, which leads us into step number three, compassionate compromise. In steps one and two, you learn that you have to find a man's masculine motives and set your standards. But what if the two of you don't agree on something? Every relationship has moments where there's conflict, where both people are on opposite sides of a situation. While a woman with deep insecurities or doubt about her inner strength might give in to a man or pick a fight. Wendy doesn't do this. She's mastered the compassionate compromise. Men do have feelings and many men have a strong need to be heard. I never get to talk about this with anyone because who's gonna give a shit? At the end of the day, everyone wants someone to understand them. A high value woman like Wendy knows that being empathetic to the needs of others not only makes her a kind and loving partner, but also a person with great emotional intelligence. She's a pro at this and shows her awareness and compassion for other people's feelings and knowing when it's time to compromise. Just take a look at this scene where she's trying to quit her job. You're thinking about leaving. Well, it's crossed my mind. She then sets her standards, but he pushes back and wants her to stay. But it is about value, wine, and growth, as in whether I'm still growing. Your value to the firm is absolute. So let's do this. Spend as much time away from here as you want. See other patients outside. But stick with me. So instead of pushing back, she makes this compassionate compromise. Thank you. He offered to meet in the middle, and instead of picking a fight or pushing her point harder, she accepted it. And Wendy does this at home as well. Her and her husband are having sex, and she can see that he's just not into it. She starts by setting her standard. I'm gonna leave you just stewing it. Okay. And when I get back, you better be focused and obedient. When she gets back, he's not ready. He's clearly not into it. So what does she do? She doesn't push. She makes compassionate compromise. What happened? Sorry, honey, I just... Oh, don't worry about it. So you wanna just watch TV and eat ice cream? Yeah, perfect. Even though this isn't the outcome she wanted, she has the ability to see when the other person is trying to meet in the middle, and that's often when she compromises and just stops escalating. Now you can follow the same process as Wendy to discover a man's true masculine motives by asking deep questions. You'll see exactly what he wants out of life and what he wants with you. When he builds this deep loving bond with you, he'll move you through what's called the male commitment sequence, which is a process a man goes through to determine if he wants to commit to you and only you. Wouldn't it be nice to peek into his brain and see exactly what he's thinking? and know what he's really looking for long-term. Well, if you'd like to dive deep into the male mind, check out my presentation by clicking the link below. You'll learn exactly what men really want and need in order to commit to you. Now, I'm not sure how long this particular training is gonna be online for, so just be sure to check it out right now by clicking the link below. Thanks so much for watching. Be well.